Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another Tableau Tip Tuesday. This is the series where we put out a short video highlighting some of Tableau's more obscure capabilities. From beginner to expert, this is a great series for you to pick up on those hidden gems that can take your skills to a new level. Today what we have planned is a template workbook. So essentially if we have anything that we're creating over and over again on a weekly basis, um, or maybe if we have more difficult to accomplish chart types, this is gonna make it a little bit faster for us to copy and paste out of a template workbook rather than have to build these charts from scratch week after week. So let's go ahead and see what benefits we can get from this. Let's get to work. So on sheet one here, you can see up at the top, I've started to uh, just double click in my title and step out some of the steps. This one in particular is for Pareto charts. I find myself making mistakes on these constantly, even though I understand the chart type. I just miss something somewhere along the way. So sometimes little visual indicators like this uh, can help you not to uh, forget stuff like that. So yes, you could do this in a Word document or something like that, but it is nice to come to that template workbook um, follow those steps up here and then we can just simply copy and paste this sheet out when we're ready to put it in our workbook that we're building our dashboard on. So let's go ahead and take a look at that here but with another piece of functionality here. So I have, oops, that's coming a little bit later here. So here we have a Pareto chart. It is all ready and built up. And again, rather than having to rebuild this from scratch, as long as I'm using the same data source here in my data pane here, I can just right click and copy that sheet, come back to the workbook that I am working in, use a new sheet to paste it in with a control V. And there you go. You can see that it is in the process of copy and pasting that sheet over. Now, one of the things you always have to remember here is that it does paste it with the data source that it came with. So that's why I said as long as we are using the same data source. Now all we can do is simply right click the data source and uh, replace the data source with the other one, which will eliminate the duplicate. And since my column names match up and everything matches up, it should go ahead. You see that blue check mark switch sides there indicating that it's using the other data set. And now I can close the connection to the original data set there, leaving my chart intact. Good stuff right there. All right. Another reason these template workbooks are great. Now, if any of you guys have ever been in the formatting menu here, you can tell that it can be a little bit of a bear. So there's just a whole lot that goes into it. If I click my format, you can see we can format the, the font, alignment, shading, borders, lines for the axis, panes, or any specific fields. It can take some time to get your chart looking exactly the way you want it. So rather than have to uh, develop a system or remember all of these things individually, we can just right click and copy that sheet over into the workbook that we are out of. And maybe we just have to replace the dimensions with the new dimensions in our new data set, or maybe it's good to go as is with a qu quick, simple update. Remember to always replace that old data set so you don't artificially inflate the size of data sitting behind Tableau, because this is actually a second copy of the data, which will in inflate it by twice. So we will again replace that data source here, but you can see that it came through with all of that formatting, again, saving me potentially 30 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, uh, depending on how complex the charts you have um, and are copying out are. Last small tip that we have for you guys here today is uh, we all know by now that we can build uh, our dashboards by dragging our sheets out from our dashboard pane right here. But we also have these blank objects that we can use down here in the lower left hand section. So if I increase the size of my dashboard here and we start building with some of these blank uh, objects here, well, we're making it so that anybody else that wants to do a dashboard doesn't have to reinvent the wheel. All they have to do is copy that dashboard out of there, and now they have pre-designated drop zones to drop their sheets in and build their dashboard. This makes it a lot easier for you to make very uniform looking dashboards because you don't really need to be changing the aesthetic too terribly much. 
And the nice thing is, is that even though you've given them pre-designated drop zones, they're not constrained by that. They can expand those and still move it around a little bit if you want them to. But again, it makes it so that they don't have to do a lot of design work when they may be more of an analyst. Now we can make this look as good as we want. We could put text images in there so that we can have sheet titles here instead of just your standard sheet title and we can skinny those up we could get a you know an image in there with maybe our company logo a dashboard title again you could go nuts on this and feel free to pour 15 20 hours into designing your templates so that you can leverage that work later on in the future all right thanks for joining us again remember to say in the comments any other tutorials or run-throughs you'd like to have me build out for you guys i'm happy to put that together for you join us next tuesday